welcome to neutral side action and we're just about ready for kickoff and now the coin toss and it's presented by nissan innovation that excites Both teams are lining up for the kickoff. We're just about set to get this one underway. And he's taken down to the 38-yard line. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. He's at the 40. Inside the 30. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 13. Listen, he's not just fast. He's also a smart runner. He knows how to follow blocks, and he knows when to accelerate. That's what differentiates skill from talent. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 13. Tries to get around the corner. Nice run there as they work the outside. converts the extra point. So a short three-play, 61-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. The score now, 7-0. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He's out to the 30, and he makes it out to about the 34-yard line. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. And he carries the ball for a nice game. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. tackled at the 49-yard line. That's not everyday speed you're talking about with this guy. This is a unique burst combined with a really impressive field vision. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Mike four, Mike four. Tackle at the 37-yard line. There's nothing more effective that a team can do offensively than to pound the ball right at the defense trying to wear them down. First and 10, ball on the 37. Now he's scrambling. And down he goes at the 28-yard line. Game of nine yards. That'll make it second and inches. Offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. And he's hit immediately. Brad, it's a, it's a first down. And, and a, obviously, this offense right now is trying to maintain possession, trying to get some rhythm going. And for them to be able to pick up a big first down right here allows them to continue to try to get to the position that they ultimately want to get, and that's into the end zone. And he's taken down at the one. That makes 
a first and goal. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. They're crowding the line. And he's got the touchdown. And so they punch it in on the ground, Kirk Herbstreit. Great job up front by the offensive line. They get a good, strong push that allowed the runner to get it in there for the touchdown. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. And he hits the PAT. An eight-play, 67-yard drive. And a touchdown's a result. We get a tie game at 7-7. They line up to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. Here's a counter to the right. Tackle made at around the 38-yard line. You like to see a team having success like this running the football. It can really open up things for the offense. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 38. And he throws it away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. And a quick throw. Nothing flashy at all. But now, that first down marker is a lot closer. On the ground, and he won't get back to the line. He just timed the snap count there. It really made a nice play. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. They'll bring him down at about the 21. Second and seven. Ball on their own 21. down after a nice run up the middle. Gain of six on the play. That'll bring up third and two. Got the corner. And he hits him hard at the 30-yard line. Gain of three on the play. That makes it first and ten. From their own 30-yard line. First down. Got an opening. He's to the 40. He's at midfield. And they finally make the stop at the 38-yard line. So at the end of one quarter, we're even at seven in this one. Welcome back. Tight game here in the second quarter as we begin play. Up the middle for a nice game.
Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. And they've got the dime package in there to try and deal with this five receiver look. And now he pitches it. He's on the run. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 14. They move the sticks after another first down. Impressive drive by this offense so far. I really like what they're doing by keeping this defense on their heels and moving the ball downfield. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 14-yard line. Under pressure. The receiver was pretty much blanketed. But when you have as accurate an arm as this young man, you can get away with riskier passes sometimes. This is the eighth play of this drive. That's going to be... And he gets the touchdown. That gives him another touchdown to go along with the one he scored earlier. This guy has great vision out of the backfield. Even if a hole isn't there, he's patient enough to wait for one to open, and then he hits it. And he tacks on the extra point. An eight-play, 82-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. You know, this offensive line has done a really good job, but really, I think it's more about the big play ability from the running backs and why we've seen so many big plays from this offense. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. We've got a second and five. Ball on their own 30. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. You know, this is just amazing. You spend six days planning as a defensive coordinator for one guy, and then you get the other quarterback. So now what happens? Fires to his tight end. Nothing to it. Strong showing by the defense. You always like to get the other team's offense off the field as fast as you can. Certainly they don't have the return on here. He's taken down at the 46. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Gets out to around the 38. First and ten. Ball on the 38-yard line. Makes it to the 27. I like how efficient the offense looked on that play. Everybody knew their assignment, and it all came together for a nice run. They're about four yards away here on second down. And he makes it out to about the 21 yard line. catch there before he stepped out of bounds. Perfect timing here between the quarterback and the wide receiver. That's a big gain and more than enough for the first down. Looking to go up two touchdowns. 
He gets hit out of bounds at the two-yard line. Gain of six yards. That brings him second and goal. Watch out for a pass play when you're in a goal line D. And he's in the end zone. Touchdown. That's his third trip to the end zone. You've heard the saying, a guy's in his zone. Right now, this guy's not stopping for anybody. He splits the uprights with the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The defense shut him down on their last drive, forcing a quick punt. Looks for his tight end over the middle. And they make the stop around the 37-yard line. From their own 37-yard line, it's first down. Catches it, and that's all. I think he's got a good rhythm going right now with his wide receivers. He hit him for a nice game. The Tigers will use their first time out of the half. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. Number six with the tackle at the 42 yard line. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. First down grab by the receiver, brought down at the 38. The defense might need to make some changes to their coverage scheme because that was just too easy. From the 38-yard line, first down. He's out of bounds at about the 35. There's a strike complete. Brought down in the open field. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back to pass. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. They'll spread the field with five wide. He throws it. Quick strike to the receiver. Touchdown. Well, it's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. And he adds the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. It's caught first down, and he's out of bounds.
from their own 41 yard line. First down. Steps up and he's sacked for a loss. I think the quarterback here, even though he came up with a sack and he's on his back, he's also guilty here of not getting a better pre snap read. You know, a lot of quarterbacks will get caught up in their size and their arm strength and how they throw the football. But the really good quarterbacks bring the intangibles to the table, and that means recognizing a blitz and affecting the offensive line and making the right call to adjust the protection. That time, he didn't do it. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 49. receiver and he can't make the grab. It looks like they're going to go after this punt. Gets to about the 47 yard line. Well, they got the result you always want on the last drive. Let's see if it happens again. <laughs> this offensive coordinator's got to be feeling so good about the execution that he's seeing from his quarterback and his wide receiver. Because, again, they put so much time in trying to put a plan together, and to be able to see that actually come into play makes you feel pretty good as a player. So they decide to bring the kicker out to try to get three points before the half ends. Kicks away, and the field goal is good. A great first half comes to a close. 21, 17. We played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. We've been looking forward to this game all week, and it has lived up to billing. A close game. You feel like that it's going to be a great second half, and boy, we've got the perfect guys in the booth. What a reward today for Nestler and Herb Street to get this game. Well, you know, it's not a secret, Reese. They get the best game every week that we think's on the schedule, right? So they got this great. It's great. It's close. It's going back and forth. I mean, what a treat to watch one of the best games of the year just unfolding in front of us. And more importantly, to hear the silky smooth sounds of Kirk Herbstreit and Brad Nessler. Does it get any better? That's it for us here in the studio. What are you going to do in the second half of the game's going on? Yeah, I'm going to kick back and watch all these monitors. We'll keep you up to date on everything going on around the country right now. Time for the second half with Brad and Kirk. Great first half and a tight ball game. And we're set to start quarter number three. Sends it sailing downfield. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. So they're just about set to get the game going again. And down he goes around the 40-yard line. From their own 40-yard line, it's first down. Strike to his receiver, no good. Sure, it's disappointing, but this is the kind of mechanical flaw you can fix with practice and coaching. First and ten, ball on the 41. He's at the 30. Tackle at about the 19 yard line. Got 
got him, but he's going to lose yards here. And they'll lose a yard there. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated him there. From the 20 yard line, second down. And he makes it out to about the 17 yard line. Zips it to the back. That's a great tackle at the 14-yard line. That play was designed to pick up a first down, but they didn't do it. It looks like the receiver just lost track of where he was on the field. So it's fourth down. They'll line it up for the field goal. The kick is up, and he's got it. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Man, both offenses here in this third quarter have been on fire. Time for the defense to step to the forefront a little bit. Makes you wonder which of these defenses has the ability to come up and make a stop. It could be one of those games where whichever defense comes up with that stop could be the team that wins the game. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. He tackles him for a loss. And the defensive end comes up with a big play. Boy, he's quick as a cat, no question. He got tremendous penetration and was able to wrap him up for a loss there. Second and 13. Ball on the 22. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. And he's tackled at the 38-yard line. From their own 38-yard line, first down. Level at the 36. That brings up second and 13. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. He fights forward to around midfield. He's on the run. Nice 
run there. The thing I love about this guy is he can throw the ball, he can run it, and that's hard to stop. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 28. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. This is the tenth play of this drive. Quick throw. He's tackled at the 22. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Tackle made around the 20 yard line. First down, Brad. That's the fifth first down on this drive. You know, they're, they're, this offense isn't hitting a lot of big plays, but they're very, very consistent with their execution. It's putting a lot of pressure right now on this defense. A great game so far, and it looks like it'll be decided in the fourth. 24 17. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Players in there, got it, touchdown. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. And he tacks on the extra point. It was a 13-play, 75-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. They line up to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So early in the fourth quarter, every possession is going to count from here on out, and we're in a tie ball game. He's taken down at about the 41. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 41. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Slings it. Well, that'll happen when you blitz the corner and the offense picks up the blitz. It's one less guy the quarterback has to worry about in coverage. Nice read by the quarterback to keep the drive going. First and ten. Ball on the 42-yard line. The halfback just couldn't get back to the line of scrimmage. Loss of one. The offensive line has to at least slow the guy down a little bit. He was in there in no time. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 32. They come out in a five-wide set.
He lets it go. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. First down. It's first and ten. Ball on the 25. Gains his way to the 13-yard line. Nothing tentative on that run at all. He looked very determined and got the first down. And this play is number eight on the drive. Pitch out, got the corner. Brought down at about the 11. From the 11-yard line, second down. Less than three minutes in the game. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. And that was the junior corner who'll get credit with that tackle. Tenth play of the drive. Defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. It's fourth down. This should be an easy field goal. Kicks up, and it is good. And with that, all the pressure now shifts back to the other side. That's what a good kicker can do. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Just throws this one away. Second and ten. Ball on the 25. And they make the stop around the 49-yard line. From the 49-yard line, it's first down. Just over two minutes in the game. Oh, and he can't hang on. Huge drop there. That makes it second and ten. This offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. He's at the 30, makes it out to about the 26. it out to about the 24-yard line. From the 24-yard line, it's second down. Tackle at the 17. The Tigers will use their first time out of the half. This is the eighth play of this drive. Yeah. 
gets out to around the nine. The Tigers are going to call their second timeout. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Rose intercept. No, he dropped it. That ball had interception written all over it, but the defender couldn't hang on. I think the quarterback there was a little too intent on hitting that receiver. And this is the tenth play of the drive. Under a minute left. He gets rid of this one. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. They'll spread the field with five wide. And he's tackled at the four. Big kick here. This would most likely bring the game to overtime. A miss, and this game is over. Kicks away, and the field goal is good. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. And they can forget about returning this one. Late in the fourth quarter in a one-possession game. And poise is what it's all about here. Who's going to have it and who won't? Fires quick out to the receiver and he can't make the grab. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. the catch. Flips it middle to the running back. And they'll bring him down behind the line. The offense calls a timeout. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on the 35-yard line. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Dumps it complete over the middle. And he's taken down at the 50-yard line. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. That's a great tackle at the 41-yard line. The offense calls a timeout, and that was their third and final timeout. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. They'll have one more chance for the end zone. He chucks it downfield. This one will fall incomplete. And that's the end of the fourth quarter, and we're going to take this deadlock into overtime. Well, we played an hour, and it's still not enough. We're set to kick off here in overtime. The ball pops free. Scooped up by the defense. from the 25-yard line. First down. The offense going to try to open this field up coming out in a five-wide set, and the defense counters with their dime look. It really wasn't badly played by the defense, but sometimes a good throw and catch just beats you. Wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. And he 
is hit immediately. It's complete for about seven yards and a first down. It's a good play call. A quick, safe pass to a sure-handed receiver. That keeps the drive alive. From the 11-yard line, first down. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. Number one was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. They come out on an empty backfield. And he tackles him hard at the two-yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. They go with a run, and he's going to be stopped short. He gets it up, and it's through the uprights. What a fantastic ending. It's fitting that it came down to a single play. Both teams competed at a high level and laid it all out there. And that should do it. Our final tally in this one. The Tigers, 30. The Highlanders, 27. 27. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.